Hey, Scott Machine Gun Dad. Um, another cop story. Uh, what brought this memory back to me is I drove to Johnstown this weekend to go to a record store, and on the way to Johnstown, I drove through Seward, Pennsylvania, which was part of my patrol area when I was a trooper in Greensburg. And there's a reservoir outside of Seward that's restricted to, uh, you know, how to drive there. They basically don't want any vehicles because there's a reservoir that feeds the water to either the Seward or New Fords. So I'm on patrol. It's nighttime, it's 3 to 11, it's, it's fall, so it's, er, it's getting dark early, but it's still kind of nice. And the, the old road that goes up to the reservoir at the time, I don't know how it is now, I could see tracks. And there aren't supposed to be any tracks there. The only tracks that are going to be there are for the maintenance vehicles to go up to the reservoir. So I, I take my little Chevy Malibu and I bound up over the rocks and I get up there. And there is a old Suburban. And I mean old Suburban, one of the really, really big Suburbans. So you have basically a mini bus size Suburban. And I, I get out and there's three, and it's full. There's a girl driver, male passenger, male passenger, male passenger, male passenger, and male passenger. So I come up to the, because of where it was and where it was parked, I came up on the passenger side. So I go up and a guy rolls the, rolls the window down, shows you how long ago this was, rolls the window down, and you can smell the alcohol, right? And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, hey, you know, you're not allowed to have a vehicle up here. What are you doing here? And the guy's like, he's giving me hems and haws, you know. And I say, hey, look, be an adult, I can smell the alcohol. Before we start anything, what are you doing here? And he leans out and he says to me, we're here to pull a train. I grew up in the suburbs of Pittsburgh in the North Hills. I don't know what that means. I'm thinking, there's no railroad tracks around here. What is he talking about? And I said, and he had said that real soft. And I, I said, what? He sa so he says a little louder. He says, we're here to pull a train. All the way in the back row on the passenger side seat is a young kid and he, he's drunk and he yells, Caboose gets to eat! Caboose gets to eat! Now, again, I don't know what any of this means. And I'm like, what? And he's like, we're all going to take a turn. And he kind of goes like that. And the girl over and she's got a big sheet and grand one like that. And I'm like, oh, okay. Didn't put any of it together. I said, well, if you're going to do that, you need to do it not at the reservoir. Go find somewhere else to do that. Hey, thanks a lot, man. I didn't, I didn't card anybody, but I'm pretty sure the kid in the back was probably like 18 or 19 years old. They leave. I get back in my car. I drive back to the barracks. And I'm like talking to one of the old timers. And I'm like, what's pulling a train? And they told me, and I really wish you could see my face when I put pulling the train and caboose gets to eat together. Okay? Now, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, go out and look it up on the internet, but make sure when you read what it is that you have the camera facing at you, because that will be a life-altering experience. And when you're a 23-year-old kid, in the middle of nowhere and they're telling you this and you've never heard this before it was a life-altering experience for me i hope that people that understand what i'm talking about enjoy the story thanks again